Now, the rest of the story. Welcome back. I just spent all, well, all afternoon so far. Shut the heater off. In the machine shed and can't quite say we're in spring yet because we got a little ways to go. Uh, what is it, the 20th of March? But we had a bunch of snow yesterday. I think locally they had like anywhere from, I think we had like four inches to I think seven inches to the east of us. And like today it's in the 40s, high 30s. And a lot of that snow is starting to melt off. Now they're calling for the same thing to happen in two days here. So today is Tuesday, Thursday, they're calling for a repeat of a bunch of snow again. But it's that real wet, heavy stuff that you really, even you try to plow it and it just, it just sticks. We ended up putting bales out yesterday and you know, with no chains in the tires and the bobcat, there's no way it would have happened. But as you're driving through that fresh snow, it just, it's like you're making a snowball with the tire. It just, it, it doesn't want to, to fall away. And starting, the current forecast says starting Sunday, we're supposed to start seeing highs in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Uh, let me rephrase that. They aren't saying the 40s, they're saying for highs in the 50s and 60s. So, looking in the third week of March, it's starting to see some, a little bit more mild weather. I'll take it. And start doing some more spring prep work. Uh, the planter does have to come out before too long here, but that does kind of entail this thing behind me. And cell phone video, so my camera doesn't want to focus. And then... There we go. So I ended up going the route of bulk oil. Really wasn't a fan of switching to it, other than the fact that I couldn't get just standard 30 weight anymore. Uh, we're switching everything over to 1540 so we'll be running 1540 year round on the majority of the equipment uh the gator was the gator the lawnmowers uh the four wheelers uh i'll still be putting 30 weight in those but everything else is going to be 1540 the bobcat is already that route the combine is already that route so it just it's making sense to this point of just switching everything else over uh, they do say that on older engines you tend to burn through it a little bit more um, they say that well the theory is is because on an older engine uh, that's used to running uh, 30 weight oh you burn through 1540 well a lot of it is just because it's an older used engine uh, a friend of mine actually has gone through a lot of his machinery um, quite recently has been rebuilt Oh, I say recently, I say within the last 10 years, and um, on his older uh, 46, and um, has been running 1540 in it since, and he says it doesn't burn oil. So going this route, already cleaned up a lot of the mess alongside the wall here. I'm tired of it. Um, a lot of these oil buckets I went through, and... I took the lids off of the majority of them. Uh, anything with the plastic handles, uh, like these high guard buckets back here, I'm gonna dispose of them. The metal buckets, or I'm sorry, uh, the buckets with the metal handles, I'm gonna repurpose, largely just because hopefully we won't be getting much for five gallon pails anymore, other than say the random 30 weight, like right there. Um, for the lawnmowers and, and such, but a single pail should do us for a year um, for how much oil you actually use that route. Um, like the four wheelers, I only have to change them once. I mean, I love my four wheeler, but I actually don't put enough miles on it to justify changing the oil more than once a year. So what I'm doing is I'm draining the oil out of these upper buckets down into the lower buckets. And when those are done, I'll take those off and then I'll swap out a bunch of the lower buckets and dump it into one of the other lower buckets until I get a lot of the the junk oil that's in them centered to one of these and then I'll take it and I'll dump it in the waste oil tote because by going with bulk oil through our local dealer um, the deal is 
if we go through bulk oil, we buy through them, they'll actually pick up our waste oil free of charge. So as they come in, they drop off the fresh oil, uh, they'll be coming and getting that. And then my intentions are a lot of this area is going to be cleaned up. I mean, you got the welder and the torch, it's going to go back on that side of the shed. Um, but that side of the shed has to get cleaned up yet. Um, it's not as bad as it was, but just that, uh, that area right there. I'm going to go through it any of the older materials, pails, whatnot. Um, I just don't like seeing clutter. Um, like a lot of this area right here, I mean, the drill, that's actually, we're going to relocate that, get it out of the dirt. And then this actually used to be where we used to store our feed uh, when we were milking. Now it's just, a, it's just been a catch-all. I mean, you can see we still got some of the older oil drum, oil buckets there that um, are gonna go away. Um, you know, just changing the times, we aren't mixing feed as as much as we were for the dairy cows, because we had the chickens and we had the feeder calves and the Holstein calves and the heifers and the cows. Uh, we don't have that anymore. And for the feed that we actually do end up purchasing, we don't store it in here anymore. So I don't know if I can get that cleaned up I mean, the wood there, I'm going to take that out. It's actually a nice um, gathering point for, for rodents. So actually getting that out of there and having one less area for the mice to, to congregate, all the better. And I just, I would really like to actually have a place that's more dedicated for this. Um, the gator's in here year-round, but then like for my four-wheeler, uh, I put it away for the winter because... I don't even like riding snowmobiles or four wheelers in the winter, let alone like ever riding a snowmobile. I don't like trying to get out and about in the snow and the mud, but I will be actually getting it out here before too terrible long and changing the oil in it. And then having a place dedicated for the gator and my four wheeler um, in the shed. So it always has its spot versus like last year where we pretty much just parked it where we had to or where, where it was available. And then you run the issue of, well, okay, we just blocked the gator in, or we just blocked the four-wheeler in, or, or whatnot. Uh, we are going to be getting our corn seed here within the next week or two. Uh, spring work, I mean, obviously, um, why I was going through and getting that set up today, because I got that oil ordered, which means hopefully by next week, I mean, if it's in the 50s and 60s, we're not checking fence, because we are planning on starting that any time here. I'm going to start dropping oil out of everything and getting the tractors ready to go. Um, get the planter hooked up. I got to go through the planter. New roller chains for the last year, um, for the last time, and then all that stuff's going to be coming off. I got those three boxes behind me, or behind you guys, is actually um, some add-ons for the planter. And then the other add-ons for the planter, because it's all coming in different supplies, you know, um, I have one more set, which I don't know how many boxes it's going to be, um, that's going to be coming right around April 1st, that I'll have to put those in the planner, and those, which I'll talk about it once we actually get to it, uh, but then the rest of the the technology uh, isn't supposed to get here until like sometime in the summer. So we'll actually, we're planning on pulling the planner out sometime in September before we start harvest, and go through the planner and get it all upgraded and and whatnot so looking forward to the the after the product once it it's done but i'm not really looking forward to having to go through and take off everything and install new parts so um spring cleaning gradually i really wasn't planning on starting doing this today but um when it's not blowing and freezing out it's it's kind of nice to actually work in the shed for a while so with that, stay tuned for more. Take care, take it easy, keep in touch. I'll talk to you guys later.